I'm part Scottish, but I've never been to Scotland, so... Flew to Scotland to rediscover my Scottish roots by completing three Scottish challenges in one day. And first, we're gonna catch a haggis. That's not a haggis, that's my girlfriend. Second, we're gonna drink ale at the oldest pub in Scotland. And three, we're going to enjoy... What are we gonna do? We're gonna eat the haggis on Arthur's seat. Eat the haggis on Arthur's seat. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I'm John. And when I became the number one lawyer under 30, I realized I wasn't living the life I dreamed of as a kid. So I quit, embarking on a mission to rediscover myself, and now I'm completing a crazy bucket list around the world, all to prove it's never too late to start living the life you were destined for. So now we need to look up where the best haggis in all of Edinburgh is. Come on it! Done amazing research. And we found the, the best, best haggis. haggis in Edinburgh. <laughs> it's the Arcade Bar Haggis and Whiskey House. 21 Ooh. minute walk. 21 minute walk. All right, which way? This way. Let's -a go. <laughs> Should we just do what you're about to do? Cross a road, you barbarian. I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> There's a haggis. <gasps> that one? <laughs> I think haggis is like mincemeat yeah, what do you think it is? inside of a sheep intestine or something. Okay, I'm glad that you're somewhere along the right track. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think it's sheep and my understanding is sheep intestine. Inside of sheep intestine. Yeah, they actually serve it to you in the sheep's stomach lining. Oh, that's what that it is. Stomach lining. Oh, it's sheep it intestine comes... in stomach lining. Wow. Yeah. It's gotten worse. I was hoping it was like lamb. I think it's mixed with some other things like spices and oats, if I remember rightly. Can I order the spices and oats? <laughs> Without oh, the <laughs> So apparently that is where JK Rowling wrote Harry Potter, but we're not here to stop for that. That is just, we gotta go. Pass is closed, is it? No, and that does not the reason. <laughs> <laughs> so this is one right, but this to me looks like a right turn. We need to take the next right. I'm just not sure if that's also gonna be underneath us or not. We need to go down there. A wee little bit lost. It says we're only six minutes away, so... Oh, nice! Unless that involves jumping off a bridge. <laughs> of your best haggis, please. So we got our haggis to go. It's the next, so it is, isn't it? <laughs> we just met the nicest people in there. And they told us that there's somewhere even better to go than Arthur's seat. Apparently, Count is Hell, yes. it's the best the place, place to, go. to go. They showed us these videos of the views. They said it's so much better. They said Arthur's seat is a longer walk yeah. and not a better view. Yeah, it's too you're muddy. Away, they too said. And they were so nice. Remember, the best thing about Edinburgh is the train to Glasgow. <laughs> Next, we're gonna get to the oldest the pub. Scottish, the yes, oldest Scottish pub. The oldest pub. pub. It's older than me. And me. And that bench. And your whole country. And this, my whole country. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this one's like an hour walk, so time to get in the car. <laughs> Table for drinks or? Yeah, yeah, great. How are you feeling? <laughs> a pint of tonnets, did you hear that? What does that's that mean? very Scottish. 
He's probably 663 years old, and I wish I looked look that good when I'm 663 years old. You probably need a lot of work done, like this place. <laughs> maybe just yeah. nip you here, tuck you there. Did you know the queen herself no. visited the sheep's feed in 2016? I just Ooh. had a little plan. It's Arthur's seat. Is this a sign? Which one are we going to do? It looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah. We saw ruins up there. I don't know. It looks cool. I think we need the advice of a local Scottish person. Should we have someone here? Do you recommend walking up Arthur's seat? Or we will also advise Carlton Hill. Do you know which is better? Both are an outstanding amazing. review and everything, but um, Carlton, Carlton Hill is a uh, nice vibe, yeah. It's easy to walk up there and it's just nice, yeah. I would suggest Carlton Hill, yeah. Nice, okay, thank you so okay, much. Thanks. We have secured our beer. Voila! <laughs> so we were recommended to go to Carlton Hill. Carlton Hill. Yes, not by one. But two people. Locals. And we decided that we would not listen to them. Why? Because it is calling to us. And <laughs> nothing to do with the fact that we didn't think we can get in an Uber with a whole full pint. Instead, <laughs> we're going to just walk to Arthur's seat from yeah. here. When have you ever been on a hike with a beer before? Never! <laughs> <laughs> How long do you think it will take us? People say it takes an hour. We are mighty. Incredible, unstoppable forces. It's gonna take us 30 minutes. Okay, so it's 7.15 right now. What time is sunset? Sunset at 8.30 or so. Okay, plenty of time. Wow, it's already beautiful. Check it out. Where are we going, up there? <laughs> so this is saying carry on and go down, it looks, to the right. But we found a secret path. So who is Arthur? Why does he need such a big seat? You stole my chest! <laughs> <laughs> What's the answer? King Arthur. No? Yeah, it is King Arthur. King Arthur. They say he once held the very first round table up here. <laughs> I think we're seeing things. Is this what happens when you're hiking the desert yeah. and you, they call it a mirage? Exactly, we just saw a man sitting on a rock. It really did look like a man with an orange t-shirt looking down at his Yep. Head. But I think it was just a pile of rocks. We did, look, there's that one. Do you see him? That's a real person, that one. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know it's real anymore. <laughs> what do you think? Person or rock? Person or rock. You tell us. I think, I still think he looks like a person, but he really hasn't moved. Not the beer! Can't leave this behind. <laughs> Just a little further. <laughs> Closer to Scottish roots. The grass! <laughs> <laughs> wow, you can see Carlton Hill! Oh. You think that's it? I'm worried it's not gonna be a big glitch that looks I think when we get to the top, we'll. Take care of that side! We're in the wrong place! <laughs> We actually made it much, much higher than off the seat until yeah. we were in the wrong location. <laughs> but isn't the wrong location actually 
the right location with the right perspective. I think it's honestly more beautiful because we're even higher up. Someone we stopped up on the way up said Arthur's seat is everywhere. So that I is true. She she made this gesture. <laughs> I think we made it. All right, we have a mission to complete. We need yeah. the drink, the haggis, and we need to enjoy it. Yes. And then I actually think what's going to happen is my Scottish ancestors are going to. <laughs> <laughs> we have the haggis. We have the beer, locally brewed. How are you feeling? In Edinburgh. I'm feeling like it's getting really cold. Let's go. How is it? Really good. I yeah? like it. It's actually really good, right? Mm -hmm. I was surprised too. What is it? Sheep's and Tenson. This is wild. <laughs> how do you feel today? I feel a little cold and a little tired. But how do you feel? I feel very Scottish. Scottish! Scottish. We need to work on our Scottish accent. Yours is better than mine. <laughs> That's very kind. <laughs> My grandma. It's about years, she would talk about this all the time, this lineage book she made. And no joke, this book is like this thick. Aww. Like not a book like this, not a book like this, like a book like this. I think she's the one who taught me. She's like, we're Scottish, we're German, and English, something yeah. like that. And she would talk about the Scottish a lot. And particularly, I remember she would always say, she's like, yeah, before we were the whites, we were the Scots. Um, yeah. And I just remember thinking, well, I remember being as a kid and being like, oh, okay, that's really interesting. And not really caring. Now being older and reflecting on it, and I'm like, wow, how cool is, is it? And someone spent so much time, so much of their life, preserving all these stories. Yeah, and she passed away, um, I don't know, like five years ago. And so, yeah, I just keep thinking of how grateful I am that she even spent any time doing that. It made me really think, like, if someone doesn't do that, all of that gets forgotten. I guess some people have mixed views on whether that's valuable or not, but I think when something's forgotten, you don't even have a choice. Like, it's just gone, gone. Oh, God, you can never get it back. So in a little way, I hope my videos are preserving a little bit of history. A little so if you feel story. inspired to go in and explore your roots. <laughs> yes, book a flight. This is your sign. Go somewhere new. <laughs> Buy a pint! And I think that's honestly part of it, even aside from the fact that it's so important to you because of your heritage. I think going to somewhere and really trying to dive into the culture the way that the locals do it is there's something so special about that. Yeah, yeah. Like in what world would we ever sit at home and think, hmm, I really fancy eating a sheep's stomach? It just wouldn't happen, but coming here and just diving into the culture. Why not? Is Try fun. it, yeah. It is fun. Don't lose your